Cheers and welcome to another Rumroy review. I'm going to show you examples of the different types of rums. Starting off with rum as in RUM, which refers to English or Navy style rums. Then we have RON as in Ron, which refers to Spanish style rums. And then we have the RHUM, which are referred to Agricole or uh, French style rums. All of the rums here have been aged uh, to the minimum required age and above, regardless of what color they come in. Starting off with the clear rum or white rum, which is usually lightest in body, lightest in flavor, very popular to mix with cocktails and drinks. Next we have the golden rums or amber rums, which pack a little bit more flavor. And then we have the dark rums, which may have more flavor or some coloring, but they're, they can be um, aged to the minimum or above as well. So the color doesn't matter. And then same with the black ones, no indicator of age. Um, but they retain more of the molasses or probably some burnt molasses or burnt caramel um, coloring. Then we have the navy style rums, which uh, refers to rums from the English territories or ex-territories. Then we have the premium age rums. Those uh, are rums that are aged for at least 12 and above 18 years, in this case 21 years. Next we have the overproof rums, like this Wupacardi 151. I'd say they have at least over 60% um, uh, alcohol content, or in this case over 70% alcohol content. Then we have the French style rums, so the Agricole rums. Those, uh, that refers to rums from the French um, um, territories or ex-territories and these guys follow the same cleanliness rules as sort of a cognac so no additives no flavors no colors no sugar and then we have the spice rums or the flavored rums and um, those can be aged to a minimum or above and then add added flavors and spices the rums that I'm missing here from this lineup are vintage rums, which are considered 19 and below, as well as the cachaça, which is a non-aged rum.